Hey everybody, welcome back. Live at Truth House Job Afternoon Drive. Hope you're all doing well out there. We got ourselves another fine day here in Newburyport. It is always a fine day when we have a music show, which is what we have today. His newest album is The Bluest Sky. Chuck Melchin from the seacoast of New Hampshire in the house. Take it away. Chuck Melchin in the house. Very nice. Thank How you. are you, sir? I'm doing pretty well. Let's go, man. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Yeah, it's been a little while. We've, it was uh, uh, Christmas time, I think. Was it Christmas we're, time? Yeah. Justin Lang's. Christmas oh, season. that's right. You were with yeah. Justin. That's right. Yeah, that, that's right. That's wow. Yeah. It I guess it didn't even seem like that long ago, but yeah, it was a while ago. Okay, cool. Much warmer now. Yeah. A little, a little different. <laughs> that's cool. So you've been playing all around. I see you. I see you pop up on uh, all the feeds all the time. You plants around, do some different projects. But today's the day you're. Uh, well, you're kind of doing a few things. One, this is the new album here for you. Came out in April. You said mm -hmm. the bluest sky. We have blue skies, bluer skies, and you. Said bluest, yeah. 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 <laughs> there you go. And that's the name of the band as well as the, as the records and upon this. Okay. First release. Cool. Very good. So this is uh, how, how long have you guys been together? I started this band. I dissolved the Bean Pickers Union. If anybody knows me out there, it might be from the Bean Pickers Union. I had that band for like 15 years. We okay. Put out four, I think four full length and two EPs. <clears throat> that time we played a lot of places in, in Newburyport, um, a lot of festivals. And yeah, stuff. yeah. Uh, but it was um, just kind of ran its course. So about in 21, the end of 21, we had a, uh, I put out a, a Greatest Picks, the Bean Pickers Union Greatest Picks. Okay. And, and pulled the plug. We did a uh, farewell show at the New Report Brewing Company. Oh, all right. And, uh, and dissolved that. So I have a new thing. It's, it's, it's almost the same thing. It's really me and, and my friends yeah. playing. But I, I tried to make more upbeat music in this, in this record. Yep. 
Um, the B Figures Union was very lyric focused and sort of slower songs. Yep. I wanted this record, I wanted people to drive faster in their car. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. Maybe Those work too. Yeah. A <laughs> whole different. Are yeah. you comfortable? Is that a, uh, are they both comfortable, uh, comfortable writing zones for you? I know it's. Yeah, a, I just, it was just more of a focus. Like there were plenty of fast Bean Pickers Union songs as well. And, and yeah. Be, they're both kind of twangy rock, country rock, uh, Americana. Yep. Alt country, whatever. Like that's that. in right now, even with the, uh, got a lot of even like, it's, for some reason that became a genre that's uh, even like the kids have hooked on to, you know? Yeah. I, I, it was really kind of hit me back in like ni early 90s. Like yeah. When, when Wilco came out. With yeah. The, Sunvolt um, and the Bottle Rockets and all these great bands. So I was trying to like get that vibe from. Those yeah, bands. yeah. No, it's. I remember. I remember when Wilco came out too. That was a. The, they were splashed onto the scene. That was. A, yeah. That was a big deal. The kid. Uh, the kid from Vermont there. That Noah Khan is uh, all, all exploding right now. Have you had a chance to listen I, to him I don't at know all? Him, no. Yeah, he's, I actually met him at. Uh, he played the Boston Calling Festival. Okay. Um, and I. I had at that time. This was just Memorial Day, and I didn't know too too much of him. But I was struck by the uh, this guy that I didn't know too much of, and the crowd that just flocked to him. Yeah. I was like, "Oh man!" So he has kind of silently made it here under <laughs> in whatever yeah, whatever smart. stream he's been swimming in. K A H N. Uh, yeah, K A H N. Yep, huh. Noah Khan. He's, he actually lives in Boston too. He's a Boston oh, boy. Cool. So he just played Red Rocks the other night. And, Check him out. Um, but yeah, so he's, I don't know, I was just sticking to him as you were explaining it, but that was the first name that came to mind. But but yeah, so cool, man. How was the, uh, what was it like making this record? It was a lot of fun. I, yeah. I, have, a, I have a friend named Dave Westner. He is a, he's a, kind of my go-to guy the last four or five records, I guess, now. Yeah. And he plays drums and bass on everything. So okay. I did all, everything else except for his drums and bass was done remotely. Okay. I did all my vocals and all my guitar work. At my house, in my studio. I have a yeah. studio called The Tree House. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that. That's right. I do, I do Justin's records there. I'm doing yep. um, Lynn Taylor's stuff there. Anyway, um, I did all my all my stuff, and my guitarists or, or um, organ players or piano players that are on that, they all do everything at home, and, and David's like a master at making it. It sounds like it's in one room. Right, right. He did, did, did a great job. Cool. All right, so you're happy with how it came out. Absolutely. What's the, uh, we got nine tracks on here. Um, that one was that. What was the last? What was the last? One you just That's not on this record. It's even newer. So you just oh, you opened with a different one. Okay, cool. I like that. Very good. Staying, keeping oh. me off, <laughs> keeping me off balance a little bit. That's good. Um, you got a big festival coming up, um, which is actually I feel like that's a. Uh, there's a lot to talk about with that. So what do you say we play? Let's do one more, and then we'll come back and talk about the festival. That work for you? Sure. What do you, do you want to intro this one? What do you got for your? Uh... This is the first song off that record. Um, it's called Belly to the Bar. Okay. I can remember. It. All right. Chuck Melchin in the house, live at Drew's house, Joppa Afternoon Drive.
take a chance Always belly to the bar Chuck Melchin, live at True Size Chop Afternoon Drive in our NCM Hub Studios here in Newburyport. Chuck Melchin playing some new music here. This is off the album Bluest Sky, which you see right here. There you go. Very nice. The art, the artwork's simple, and I love it. Yeah. I like you make that choice? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Gary Barbetti did the artwork for that. He's a Newburyport um, frequent visitor here. Oh, uh, okay. Very good. What Do you do you like? Uh, do you throw the trust in him? Do you say, uh, listen to the album, and then... Find something, uh, no, or you have an idea. I think this we we, we co collaborated on it. I collaborated. Just wanted simple and, and like a blue sky. Yeah. Uh, I think that might even be AI generated. I'm not sure. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm not sure. We, we fooled around with that. Interesting. Cool. Well, very good. So the. Uh, you did an excellent job. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's a, it's effective. We'll get this on our little. Uh, Mantle here. The uh, I always say, you ever see like the tiny desk shows on a? Mm -hmm. It's I, I think it's kind of it's got that vibe in here. Does, I think yeah. <laughs> a little more chatter maybe in this in this place, but uh, but very good. Again, Chuck Melchin is our guest. I, before I forget, I got to give a thanks to Maeve Power, uh, producing the show. We actually have a crew here too. Uh, Maeve, when you get a second run in who's uh, working today because I will forget to name drop everybody and uh, I don't know our, our schedules are very flexible here so I don't know I was working on any given day but uh, yeah maybe when you get to get a second come in and run in who's working so I can name drop them just write it down for me uh, Chuck you have a big festival coming up and you were telling me about it. It's a, uh, it's, it's. I think you said not quite an annual festival, but it's, uh, it's your baby here, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about this thing. We moved to a, a kind of a bigger property in, in Exeter, New Hampshire, four years ago now. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I was just out in the yard and looking at the slope of the yard, and I thought this would be an excellent amphitheater. We should have some shows here. Yeah. And um, so we got a couple of kegs and uh, a bunch of bands. It's a good start. Yeah. <laughs> I, I built like a drum riser for for the yard, and we had Chuck a um, Wow. Like three years ago. Cool. And it, it was just fantastic. A few, a few acoustic numbers, but some full bands. Was that pre-COVID, or was that kind of a COVID creation? It was just pre-COVID. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think COVID came that year. Okay. I don't. Know, I can't remember years in it. <laughs> yeah, right. Like years, hundreds. Right, right. Um, but it was, it was a blast, and we couldn't do it the next year probably because of COVID. Yeah. And uh, the second time we did it was um, two years ago, and that was maybe just after COVID ended. Okay. Yep. Um, I don't know. I think so. So you're gonna try? Are you trying to go annually? Annually now? Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> that, that also we had that in my yard, and it was just too many people. Yeah. The parking was tough, and uh, how many I, people? How many people did you get? Uh, Forty or fifty, maybe, oh, wow. at the peak. Yeah. Um, and uh, we had like the live twos came and played, and uh, who else? Um, Dean Harlan played, and uh, Todd Heer Heeren. Nice. And, uh, it, was, it was it was a great turnout. But this year I, I wanted um, you know enough. Parking for people, but mostly. So we're gonna have it at the Newburyport Brewing Company. Oh, okay. This is Chuck Blues three. Chuck Blues two is uh, <laughs> this time it's personal. That was like the, the tagline for that. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. This year we I couldn't come up with one. <laughs> right. Uh, Very return good. to Chucky. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So changing venues a little bit this year. The uh, but the ins inspiration was just the backyard yeah. for you, huh? So this year I've got all uh, country, all alternative country bands that are mostly from Cambridge. Okay. <clears throat> is that a coincidence, or you were looking for a theme? They, yeah, they were my, my friends mostly. Yeah, okay. Um, the first band is American Beauties, and they, they're just fantastic. They've got a new record out. It's called, um, uh, I wrote it down. Oh, Sound of Mind. Sound of Mind, Which okay. Is kind of like a twist of sound. Yep. And, and sound is, is in having a good mind. Um, they're great. Michael Gray is a great songwriter. Um, yep. Played with them a bunch of times. And then after that is uh, Sarah, Sarah Levac Band. Okay. Um, and she's she's fantastic as well. Her guitarist is uh, Peter Z. Um, he, he's one of the best guitarists in, in Boston. He's the price of admission uh, just to see him. It's, it's great. Yeah. John Nolan. Yeah. From Say Zuzu. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, not not sure if he's ever been on there. I don't think I've had John on. No, but I know who he is. Yeah. He's great. He has a uh, sort of side solo project called John John Nolan and uh, Good Company. Okay. And, and they're playing and they they're working on a record now, uh, I believe. Uh, and then um, Autumn Hollow, who plays with us a lot. Wow, a lot of music, huh? Yeah. And then finally, Blue Sky lasted. So we, we start bands at 1 o'clock, and, and every hour it switches. Oh, okay. And we'll have uh, Artie Francoeur playing yep. acoustically between every band. While it, while oh, really? Play. No kidding. 
I, I already have been in communication with, I think, in Facebook over the years, but I've never actually met him. He's a great guy. Yeah. yeah. We have a lot of like uh, mutual friends, mm-hmm. I know, but I've never actually met Artie, so. Yeah, he's great. Great, great, great. Uh, he's a very soulful, uh, kind of bluesy singer, great harmonica player. Yeah. And a really good, like, single guy, solo guy, uh, entertainer. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, I've heard I've heard him play, so I've always wanted to have him on, but there you go. Yeah, maybe I'll have you reach out for me. Go get him on for me, will you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, my, oh, here we go. Yeah, I got my list, by the way. I got to give a shout out to my team here. Uh, Lee Cusack doing the tech directing, May Power editing. We got Caroline Clark, Madeline Clement in the house, Ryan Rothberg, and Eli Giordano also uh, in the studio doing a bunch of pieces with this project today. And it's like Yankee Homecoming Week here in your report. Um, we're just kind of getting through it and we got a lot of projects that we've filmed already and uh so we're trying to do a lot of that stuff and whatever it's it's a busy time here so thank you to all those guys that's uh i guess that's the point of this thank you any relation to mike do you chance Ooh, i don't know guitarist really blue sky oh, we're gonna have to ask I you think it's spelled the g-i-o-r is mm-hmm. it yeah oh interesting well, we'll have to ask we might have a fa- might have some music family in the house uh how's the summer been good it's been really good yeah yeah we, we have a uh, camper van that we bought oh nice two, two years ago cool i've well, used it for um tours i've done a couple of tours and we've used it for vacation last year we went to banff and yeah, yeah. jasper up in canadian rockies oh nice we've gone five weeks so we've got solar panels wow uh propane stove inside uh 25 gallon water tank it's our bug out fan fanning really bad things <laughs> we're up in like northern maine okay we yeah. live indefinitely up there yeah. uh, any uh because i mean it seems like you got it down there have been any uh, like hard living issues with that any issues or uh you got to be pretty comfortable with the other person yeah in that. yeah because there's a there's a there's a toilet but it's kind of we call it mr sloshy <laughs> yes okay. just here kind of sloshing around and we don't do number two yep only number one that's probably just, smart yes yeah, just we haven't broken that uh, skin yet it's such a uh i because I, I always regretted not doing this like out of college and stuff i wish i like, took a year to yeah. just like travel and so i do find people that you know do they either grab an iv or however, however you want to do it to get around it's just such a for me it's an admirable thing i wish i was able to kind of separate myself and make that jump a little bit and just yeah. do it, <laughs> it, 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 it the van is great fun on the when we did that five week thing to, to jasper and Banff, we came back down through like Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, yeah. and then made our way, way east. And we we're getting back on like a Saturday. We, we couldn't. Make, we were in Vermont. And we we're like, I don't want to go home yet. Yeah. We stayed one more. We were two hours from home. We just stayed one more night. Oh yeah. Because we just couldn't. It's hard yeah. to get back into civilian life. Well, you must. I mean, because you're used to that all these years of playing, right? I mean, I'm sure you had bands like growing up, and uh, you guys were always in bands driving to the next yeah. gig, right? I mean, it's an I easier did, life. More, I did more airplane. Yeah. Really. Tours. Oh no, kidding. Fly, fly to places. Um, yeah. We, we did one in, in the UK. It would have been tough to drive that one. Yeah, it would have been tough to drive. Yeah. But this year, I've, I drive, I've driven twice down to like uh, Asheville, North Carolina. Yep. Um, Ohio, Nashville, and, and back, and stopping in Maryland or something. Yeah, yeah. And two of those. And I bring, I bring one of the dogs, yep. the one that likes being on stage. <laughs> yeah. And uh, is, she's great in the van as well. Cool. Um, so, so I'm actually trying to set something up for October right now, but I'm trying to find all the breweries in South Carolina. Virginia that take dogs. There you go, yeah. Because uh, she she loves it. It's gonna be some of those down there, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's your music. That's your music uh, dog. There. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You can see it on lots of videos of the Bee Pickers Union. She's she's right up there in front. Yeah. She's, I wish I had as much stage presence. <laughs> as yeah, and you're never gonna beat a dog when it comes to stage presence. No, I don't think. She's way cuter. Biggest fan too. Yeah, she just whenever if she can be with me, she's happy. Yeah, yeah. She's an um, Australian cattle dog. Yeah. Really, really loyal. Yeah. Yeah, I bang, I bang around on the guitar just to, you know for my yeah, own pleasure. You, I've seen you on, on some videos. <laughs> yeah, I'll really post good. Oh, thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. I'll post, I'll post some things. I can't play like you guys, but I always say I have far too many professional musicians to be putting that stuff out there. But <laughs> sound pretty good to me. Thank you. Yeah, but I always say my hound dog though. He's the one guy. He's my trusty guy. Yeah. He comes up and listens to yeah, me. Yeah. You know, he's always there to listen. <laughs> so again, Chuck Melchin in the house here. Uh, we're talking about his uh, well, Chuck a Palooza coming right up, and the date again for people. If and it's open to the public too. We should yeah, that too, right? It's, yeah. It's, um, it's September 2nd. Yep. It's a Saturday. Great time of year for music, right? 
It's on Memorial Day, oh, Labor Day weekend? Yeah. Oh, that's Labor Day so, weekend? Okay. So yeah. I know people have other plans, but anybody who's around, it's yeah. be a great way to end your summer. Yeah, no doubt, right? It's great plans. And, and I love that. Uh, <clears throat> for some reason, there's certain times of year that, for, I mean, I love music all time of year. There's something it's cozy about winter time too, but winter's not my favorite time of year. This, I love it when that thing starts to turn to fall and you mm-hmm. can feel it and uh, go. Humidity go, goes away. Yeah. You, I mean, I, don't, I like summer too, but just for music purposes, I, it's something about like hearing a good out show on a crisp fall day. I don't know. Mm-hmm. There's something romantic about that. <laughs> but uh, again, then Blue Sky is the album here. Go pick it up. Where can people get this if they want to find it? Um, it streams everywhere. Um, there's there's okay. no CDs available. Okay. I've got yeah, this is one of the seven. few CDs. <laughs> yeah, very important man. <laughs> very good. I have like seven of them. <laughs> after a couple hundred went to, to radio. Stations. Cool. Yeah. Well, the uh, I mean, we. It's funny. The kids. They. I, I, a lot of these cars aren't making CD players anymore. You're probably yeah. running into that, you right? Can't, like kids will come up to us after a show and, and say, we can you know, we'll try to give them a CD and they. they they have nothing to play it on. Yeah. That's been for a long time. Strange now, so. moments, right? <laughs> so I make as few as I can get away with to, yeah. to, to radio. Gotcha. All right, cool. So what it's do you on got? iTunes and Spotify and all, all the streaming. All that stuff. YouTube. Oh, all right. So go find it. Uh, what do you got next? I got a song called uh, uh, what we, The Girl It Took the Universe. Okay. There's a lot of... Uh, arguments about whether this was grammatically correct or not <laughs> within the, the band or the girl, us the girl who took the universe the girl uh, that took the universe oh i understand girl, yeah took, so we went with it <laughs> i'm probably gonna get the grammar police gonna be after me <laughs> hey it's your song you can do whatever you want right chuck melchin live at drew's house joppa afternoon drive
Chuck Melchin, live at Drew's house, Chapa Afternoon Drive, music show from our Newburyport studios here on a August summer afternoon. Very nice, man. That one was The Girl That Took the Universe, track two off the Blue, Bluest Sky album. It's got local, uh, local piano wizard Duncan Watt playing on that. Duncan Watt, okay. Uh, local as in Newburyport guy or just uh, this lives in uh, East Kingston. East Kingston, okay. Uh, I think. Gotcha. Cool. We were actually, I was just talking with the... Uh, the mayor of Newport Report about this. You probably, I, how many, what, your gigs, mostly New Hampshire or mostly Massachusetts? 50-50. 50-50? Uh, because as far as Newport Report goes, see, I, I see you play the Newport Report Brewery a lot. Yeah. I know that. Any other spots in Newport Report that you kind of frequent or? Uh, not frequent. I, I yeah. play there quite a bit. Which kind of leads me to my point. He was saying that it's the one thing that he's noticed, like he was walking around all during the Yankee homecoming week, and that it's like one thing that kept coming up was that people wanted more music in mm-hmm. Newport Report. Which I thought, and that's actually a feeling yeah. I have too, because I spend a lot of time in like Portsmouth. I spend a lot of time yeah. in like a, a lot of these big music cities, and I'm like Newburyport, as great as all the walkability is and all that. If you want to go f- see live music, you can't automatically find it no. at night. I mean, the Newburyport Brewery usually has it, but that's kind of the one place that always has it. Yeah. Like it's not, it's not that bumping scene where it's you can find it really anywhere. Like a lot of these cities. Plum Island Grill sometimes does, but not always. Yes, and that was the one exception, was the Plum Island Grill. We almost treat that separately, because you have to, I guess I'm thinking more like downtown New Breedport when we talk yeah, like the, that. The, but the, uh, the coma, the beach coma? Yep, they all they do a good job on Plum Island, yeah, which yeah. is a fun, that almost kind feels its like, it, state. yeah, it almost feels like it's in a different place, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. But uh, but no, you're right, That's they do a good job too. But yeah, it's just interesting. And they have a new they have new places coming in that might pick up the mantle, I know, around here. But, uh, and Metsy's. Yep, yeah, Metsy's is another good one, yeah. Now. You ever played? I've never. Uh, I think they're five or six times. Yeah. yeah, you like it there? I do. Yeah. Cool. All right, that's good. It's funny. I haven't. Um, I guess I'm not. I'm not new here anymore. But Metsy's, I actually, I don't think I've ever actually seen music in there just because of like weird scheduling things. Mm-hmm. I've had people that I've wanted to see and then couldn't get there. But I got to make a better effort to get there. It's a small room, so you, you, you know, yeah, you have to have a small, really small PA under control. I showed up there once with I think five people though. Yeah. I had like a pedal steel and an upright bass, and okay, it was, it was rather large for that room. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. But people liked it. Yeah, cool. The um, yeah, last time you were here, I remember. So you were playing with Justin Lang. I know. Uh, is, are you kind of like a, you like to collaborate with a lot of people? Do you prefer you like touching into other people's projects as well as playing your own stuff? I like to record. Yeah. So um, so Lynn Taylor and, and Charlie Rockwood Farley of the band Rockwood yeah, Taylor. Yeah, they're outstanding. Uh, they're great. Um, in fact, they, those two are playing with me at the Chuckapalooza. Oh, cool. They're the, they're the ba- playing bass and, and drums. Okay. And we met. We were both all in Liz Frame and the Kickers. Yeah, back in yeah. Twenty twelve or something at the yeah. same time. Um, so, um, so what did I say? So they're they're playing Chuck Blues, Chuck Blues with me. Um, I'm doing a record with them. Right okay. Now. We've got four or five songs. I think it's just gonna be a, a kind of a bigger EP. Nice. We're doing it all at the Treehouse, and uh, it's coming out great. Yeah. I mean, Lynn's Lynn's a powerhouse. Oh, she is. Yeah. Are incredible. And Charlie's a, a great drummer. He's playing mostly guitar. Yep. On, on this, and he, he's come a long way in guitar. He's, he's really, he's really, really good. Yeah. Like, how did he get so good? <laughs> Wish I could get that good. good quickly, huh? There's a lot of like uh, that music. There's a I love music circles because they're fun like that. Like I, I'm sure you know Charlie Carozzo there, who's sure, uh, yeah. he he plays with them a lot too. And I know I think he said to. Uh, about Lynn, like he, the harmonies on his latest yeah. record, which is actually on our wall there, um, were like she just was, was so great about helping orchestrate yeah. them. I, if I recall, he gave her a whole lot of credit with the harmonies. She's a, she's a natural, um, world class voice. Yeah. And so um, I'm also doing a Justin Lang record. Oh, okay. we get Lynn singing a little bit on on that record. Oh, okay. I mean, not a Christmas record. Not a Christmas. Record. <laughs> it's, a, it's not a Justin Lang. It's a, a Southbound Outlook. Okay. Right? So, yep. so Matt Morrison is is in that. Yep. We had uh, uh, Jason Novak playing some hard. Yeah. And, and yeah. we'll get uh, whatever his bass player his name is. We haven't had him in yet. Okay. But he'll he'll be like last. All right. Cool. Yeah. They were the Southbound. I think was the first ever musical guest we had on the show. That's right. Way yeah. back in the yeah. day. Yeah. So that's I, fun. I love Justin. He's a great guy. He is. Well, hello, Justin. I haven't seen you in a while either, so we'll see. We'll get you on here soon. Uh, Blue Sky is the newest record from Chuck Melchin. Uh, go check out his Chuckapalooza. Uh, it's at the Newburyport Brewery this year. Date again was September second, Labor Day, noon to six. And yeah, it's going to be. A, and there's a ten dollar suggested donation. We're going to split that. Um, half of it is going to go to the Continuum Arts Collective, which is a nonprofit that helps underprivileged kids. Oh, um, cool. Get, get instruments lessons, um, mentorship for, for musical arts and visual arts. Oh, how nice. 
and uh, they're a great organization. So we'll, we'll give half to, to that and half to them. Is that your idea? Is that close to your heart? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. I've done a lot of work with them. I've done a lot of uh, shows with them. Um, they're in North Berwick, Maine. Okay. And they, they cover mostly uh, North uh, Maine and New Hampshire. The Berwicks, I know it. I drive yeah. through there on my back road sometimes to. Yeah. If I got to get off that highway, I go through the Burbanks. Yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> it is good. Um, well, sir, it's been a great seeing you, man. Uh, have, have a great rest of the summer. You too. Keep playing. I'll see you on the uh, see you on a stage here at some point. The uh, summer gets crazy. It's good. It's a million things going on. <laughs> yeah, I know how you do it. <laughs> you know how it is. But uh, yeah, we'll get out and see you here before the summer's end. And uh, yeah, go see Chuck Palooza again. Go find this on all the streaming platforms too. Uh, your Spotify is your iTunes of the world. The Bluest Sky is the name of the album. Chuck Melchin. Again, thank you to our crew here in the house. Uh, Lee Cusack. I guess uh, Lee Cusack is trying to drive on the show today. Thank you, Lee. Maeve Power, Caroline Clark, Madeline Clement, Ryan Rothberg, and Eli Gordano. Uh, Giordano, who uh, we're going to try to figure out if he's part of your music family here when the show is over. We're going to go figure that out as soon as this is done. Uh, Chuck, Mencher, Chuck Melching going to bring us home here. Thank you, sir, for coming on. Have a good rest of the day. Uh, and here we are in August, everybody. So uh, enjoy the rest of your summer. This is the home stretch, right? Soak it all in. Live at Drew's house. Chop afternoon drive. Hey, Eugene. Bye.